me, if you never hear anything else I say tonight, please hear what I'm about to say. I grew up in an era that they taught us more about the judgment of God, the justice of God. They taught us little about the grace of God. They made us afraid to even live. You have to hear me now. You, it was do's and don'ts. You can't do this. You can't do this. And when, and I want, as I teach this, I want you to hear me. I have no regrets. I have no regrets of coming up the way that I came up. I'm so glad he took me the way that he talk, took me. But I've come to the knowledge of a lot more truth now. I did things because I was being obedient to those who were over me. You have to hear me. They taught us we couldn't go to the show. Couldn't go. Well, how come we couldn't go? You can't sit among, sit among the seat of the scornful. This is what they told us. I couldn't have a fade haircut. Tell me, if you have a fade haircut, you look too much like the world. I couldn't wear shorts and couldn't wear short pants because you don't want your flesh showing. Now, you think they were hard on men. They were worse on women. They had the women. Some of them couldn't get their hair permed. Some people couldn't come into the church without a, um, something covering their head. Their dad had to wear stockings 365 days out the year. Couldn't wear long sleeve, I mean short sleeve. Couldn't wear no jewelry. Couldn't wear no makeup. If you had lipstick on, they said you looked like Jezebel. We couldn't do anything. They even monitored everything. I need your attention. The only thing that they did not control is what we eat. And this is why sugar, diabetes, and heart attacks was high among the body of Christ. Because you was free to eat. And they made sure you ate after every service. We had fried chicken, yams, greens, sweet potatoes, every kind of cake. We had a candy lady in the store with pickles, with, with the peppermint sticks and potato chips. Homemade ice cream with... It was all in the church. And then we leave church. When you left church, what did we do? Go to a restaurant and eat again. No workout, no teaching you how to live. You can't enjoy, all you do is go to work, you go to church, and you go home. And eat in between all stops. Not living, not having fun, couldn't go nowhere. It was so, listen to me, I went to an HBCU. This is, we couldn't dance, couldn't listen to music. When I got saved, they made me throw out all of my music. Uh. Listen, <laughs> and y'all know how I love music. I had to get rid of every tape. We didn't have CDs. We had them cassette tapes in every album, 45 in the albums. Got rid of it all. Cold turkey. Got rid of it all. Went to college, never went to a party. You cannot be seen on the dance floor. I need y'all to hear me. I signed up to be the bumblebee, the mascot. <laughs> and I figured I could be the bumblebee because you got to wear that thing. Or they'll never know it's me. <laughs> I had it all in my head. I was going to turn that school out. <laughs> and I messed up and told some of the saints. I didn't get to be the bumblebee. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. You can't be out there running all up and down that field, jumping on people, dancing with the band. You got to please the Lord. I was like, yes, Lord. I've always had a sense of humor. They told me, you're too silly. God would never use you because you're too silly. Saints. I, I got up. I put a cross around my neck. I went to class with my Bible in my hand. I refused to smile. I walked through the campus just looking like this. I got to look deep. I was sitting in one class and I began to think about how good God was. And I, I had one of them moments and kicked the whole desk over. I was deep, deep, because they told me God will never use you. Because you're too silly. I tried to be deep. I couldn't do it. I didn't last that long. Because if I see something funny, I'm going to holler. 
And I love to talk about people. So And then they make you think you can live safe for years and if you mess up one time, if you committed something that they considered to be a sin, you were in a backslidden state. And then they use certain scriptures. You either hot or cold. If you look warm, he's going to spew you out. I don't want to be spit out. It was, you walk around like this. When he says, I come that you might have life and that you're going to have it more abundantly. And you were born in sin. You were shaped in iniquity. He even tells you there's no good thing in your flesh. And I don't care how close you think you are to God. You're still in that flesh. And that flesh has to be brought under subjection daily. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me. And some of y'all ain't saying that because you want everybody to think that you go to bed speaking in tongues, you wake up speaking in tongues, you want us to think that you sip tea with Jesus between breaks. You got to relax and enjoy Jesus and this life he gave you. I followed all the rules. Up until when I got married, no music. No secular, out of my shit. Never danced with my wife on the floor. Never had a birthday party after I got saved. Oh, but when I turned 40, I've been dancing ever since. And I got people say, you supposed to be saved. I am. You mean to tell me that he going to send me to hell? This going to send me to hell? You mean to tell me out of all the things in the world, this going to send me to hell? This is the kind of God we serve. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? And some of y'all, you are still living like this because you have not been taught about your God. Let me show you. Number one, if you have the relationship with God, it's not so much of what you can't do. You build a relationship with him to the point that you want to please him. And he says, those that are mine know my voice. And then when, you, not if you mess up, when you mess up. You don't act like you better than anybody. You are broken because you have something called a conviction. 